by following the outline of their drawings with little tiny pinholes, artists um, who'd layered a second sheet of paper underneath could actually transfer one image to the next, saving the original image as a precious artefact in its own right. This image would then be used for transferring. So once the image was pricked, a little bag of charcoal dust would be pushed through the little holes in order for um, little black marks to be transferred onto uh, the panel or the wall, depending on where the image, uh, the painting was going to be realised. So by pushing um, the, this black dust um, through, you would then get the outline of the drawing transferred onto the wall or panel through the image. A very time consuming method, but uh, using these little dots, you would then be able to join up the lines in order to realize the final work. So pouncing, as it's known, uh, would have been a three-staged affair. You would have made your original drawing, then through pricking, you would have made a copy. This copy would then have been laid onto the final panel or wall on which the image would have been painted and by pushing uh, charcoal dust through the little tiny holes you then uh, literally made a dot join the dot drawing uh, which would be your guideline for your final piece of work.